Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be finishing up Mount Gelmir. But before we do, let's talk about a few things that I did off screen, and I only did a couple of things. Number one, I went ahead and I put a dagger on because that's going to be useful a little later into the episode. And I also went ahead and put on some magic grease because that's going to help us with a boss fight a little later as well. And that's all I did. I didn't get any more runes or, or try to level up or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to grab a couple of items that I missed over here by the hermit village so we're going to backtrack for just a moment we're going to come over here and in this first shack over here we have the first set of items that i missed and that is the errant sorcerer set be careful of the iron virgin over here it's kind of rushing in the last video and it ended up biting me in the ass because I forgot some items like over here with the rune bear I forgot to pick up the pulley crossbow which is really cool it will shoot multiple bolts out and you can use that to build up a status effect on an enemy Ow. That really hurt. Just keep running. Run straight through here. We're just backtracking back to where we started the video at. And we're going to run across this long rock that's jetting out of the mountainside here. We have an item hanging off. Go ahead and grab that golden rune six. And then we're going to go through this door. This is where we're going to be using our dagger. So if you want, you can put it on now. And you want to make sure that you're two-handing it as well. Or matter of fact, let's not put it on just yet because there are enemies. And that dagger is not upgraded at all. So the beast eye quivers, that means we're going to get some more death root in here. Go ahead and activate that summoning pool. And then we're going to sprint. Do not stop, just sprint. We're going to skip these two outcroppings here. And then just to the right, we're going to run, we're going to jump. And get to the side. We have a chariot that is coming back and forth. And then we want to keep sprinting all the way down past here. And then off to the right. And then just over here, we're going to jump. Grab the Grave Glove Wart 7. Put our dagger on. Two-hand it. And then we want to run jump across and then start hitting L2 as soon as you get over here hit L2 don't want to wait that chariot is still moving but it won't be coming down here we're safe once we get down here you don't have to worry about that chariot anymore at least for the time being Grab the ring finger. That is a really interesting weapon. It's essentially one of those weird, creepy hands fingers. And you can use it in a variety of different ways. And uh, mess people up with it. Okay, let's go ahead and put our 
Bloodhound's Fang back on. And then just down here, we're going to drop to this ledge. I have never tried to drop all the way down, but I don't recommend it. Seems like it would kill you. We're going to heal ourselves. And then come over here, hop down, grab some beast blood. We have another chariot coming by, and we will worry about that in just a bit. For now, we're going to continue this way. We're going to fight the boss real fast, get that out of the way, and then we're going to finish up this dungeon. The boss really isn't hard. It's just a red wolf of Radagon. So if you want to use your summon, you can. It's up to you. I will be using the summon just because I like using the summon, but you don't have to. I'm not even going to use my wondrous flask of physic. I mean, your, your summon can solo this thing that easy and we get bloodhound knight flow or flaw maybe flaw i don't know how to pronounce his name or her name whatever it is it's a bloodhound knight you get it we're gonna grab some death root and then some root resin and we're gonna backtrack we do not want to get out of this catacomb just yet we just want to run back up here where the chariot was pathing back and forth That'll come back and we're going to jump on this chariot. It's actually going to be pretty cool. Go ahead and run, jump, and then just ride the chariot up. Wait for it to turn around. We're going to roll off. Kill this enemy right here. Get the mantis blade. That's a pretty cool blade to use. And then right here, we're going to fall down. Grab some smoldering butterflies. And then I'm going to use my wondrous flask of physic. Buff my blade. And then we're going to kill this bloodhound knight. And you don't have to save your wondrous flask of physic here. The bloodhound knight is really not hard at all. But for killing it, you get its armor set. And then if we come over here, we get the Gelmir. Knight's armor set. So you get two armor sets right here. Pretty awesome. Gonna roll right here. Grab ourselves some root resin. I like to wait for the chariot to come back through. So that it's turning around and then we're going to start running. So wait for it to turn around. And then start running. Now we still have our flask active. So if it does by some chance hit you, you will survive it. I'm going to veer off here. Hit that. We do have a skeleton that aggroed towards us, so keep that in mind. Off to the left, we have a page knight. Have another one, both of them on each side. We'll see if that skeleton paths towards us or not. Yeah, it did. It's backing up, but we'll kill it just for funsies. Got another page knight. Grab some ghost glove wart. 
And then right here, another page knight. Tons of page knights down here. careful as I say that I get hit multiple times by this page knight poor guy he's like I don't want none of this so over here this is where we started where we were first starting to run through the lava. Just over there. We're going to turn around and backtrack. We're going to go get us one more item. And then we're going to fast travel out of here. Go ahead and heal yourself just in case. Oh, this poor guy. So as you can see, this thing is pathing back and forth. It's a very short path. going to go that way and then just run do not stop it's a short path that it's going to be taking grab this stone sword key and then hug the wall you want to be facing the wall if you don't you're going to get hit by the chariot you may cause a death and if you have a lot of runes on you that's not going to be very fun so let's go ahead and fast travel to the entrance of the gelmir hero's grave Take the elevator up. And then before we get out of here, let's take the dagger off. We don't need that anymore. We just needed it to get through the lava. That way we weren't walking through it. We could get through it faster. Right here, grab some mushrooms. Don't worry about the wolves unless you really want to kill them. We're just heading north, northeast. Till we get to this area here. We're going to kill a couple enemies. Nothing special. Got an extra dagger. We can sell that. Or hold on to it and you can do dual daggers if that's something you want to do. Just trying to get all the way to the top. Really pretty vista, especially when it's not raining. We're going to slide down this ladder. We're going to hop on Torrent. We're going to grab a few items. Grab this first one by the mad pumpkin head. And then right over here, some beast blood. And then right over here's a ladder. A couple of episodes ago, I said that we could have taken a ladder up to here, but it didn't matter because we were gonna come around anyways. So this is that ladder. And I also noticed that I missed a little goodie down there. And I'll probably get that off screen. But if you're wanting that goodie, just go down there, scoop it up. Don't know why I hopped on Torrent. Just come in right here to Light of Grace. Then we can hop on Torrent. Grab some runes.
Let's turn around and we're going to backtrack. We're going to come over here to another rock that's jetting out. And then we are going to be fighting a grafted scion here. My advice, just poise through its attacks. Shouldn't kill you. Or if you don't even want to fight it, just climb the ladder. And it can't climb ladder, so there you go. Even though it's got like a ton of arms and feet it, it can't climb who would have thought right we're gonna come over here we're gonna hop on torrent there's two different ladders we can choose from we're gonna go up this one here I had to hop on torrent to be able to get up those rocks and then we're just going to climb this ladder real fast. We want to stand by this flag. There is a enemy. Grab some great arrows. And then we'll climb to the top of this ladder. And then right to the left here. Ah, oh, welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way, right this way. So we're just gonna fall off to the left here so we can talk to this merchant. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please. So there's a couple things that we want to buy from this guy. Number one, we want to get the Nomadic Warriors cookbook. Anytime we see a cookbook that we can buy, we want to buy it. And then number two, the Stone Sword Key. And then if you're using the handheld ballista, this explosive great bolt is amazing. We're also going to get a weapon a little later into the episode that is very useful with these explosive great bolts. Also, you can buy an infinite amount of great arrows from them. So if you're using a great bow, this is a perfect spot to buy some great arrows. And then obviously there's some garbs and armor that you can buy up and we're going to buy them. I have a ton of ruins to spin, so we'll just go ahead and buy them now. And anything else that you might want to buy, feel free to grab it. Now we're going to take this ladder up. Get all the way to the top here and then we're gonna face northwest and we're gonna take the path just up this way we have a cave system that we're gonna go through but it's very short grab some poison grease kill those demi humans if you want Got a glowstone from him. Light the grace. And then over here, activate the summoning pool. 
And then we're going to want to kill all these demi-humans. So we have a path to the left. We have a path forward. And then we have a path to the right. When we're coming in here, this is the way we came in. We want to go to the path to the right. Grab this golden rune six, and then we're going to fall down right here. Kill these demi humans. And then we're going to come down here. We're going to get a unique shield over here, but I don't find it to be very useful. It's just a very novelty shield, I would say. Take out all these demi-humans being obnoxious. So right here we get the coil shield. This shield, you can use it to uncoil a snake that's kind of embedded into the shield and it will inflict poison on an enemy. But let's be honest, poison is not a viable build in this game, unfortunately. And that's why I said the shield is very novelty. Looks cool, but not very beneficial. We're going to come over here. We're going to hop down. Take out this demi human. Grab this item here. Go ahead and put this wondrous flask of physic on and I'm not even going to bother with my spirit summon just because it's another demi human queen and it's dead super fast to kill that enemy not very hard but right here we get the jar cannon. This is the weapon that I was talking about earlier. You could use those explosive bolts on. If you like something that's just going to do some massive damage, put the jar cannon on. You'll have a ton of fun with it. For now, let's go ahead and fast travel back to the entrance. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to come out here, we're going to hop on torrent, and then we're going to head south. We are almost finished with Mount Galmir. Pick up that item there. And then we're going to cross this rope bridge, my worst nightmare. Light this grace, and then we're going to use the spirit spring. What we're going to do is we're going to hop on torrent. We're going to drink a flask. Buff our weapon. If you buff your weapon ahead of time, when you bring your spirit summon out, it's going to have that buff on the weapon the entire fight. Go ahead and immediately pull out your spirit summon. And then try not to die. I hate this boss fight. I absolutely hate it. It is so rough. Oof. Back up when it does that. It's just going to do some crazy nonsense.
Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Thank you. If you have any kind of magic buff, it will help with damage on that enemy. And also, if you have the Dragon Rot spell, use it. Any kind of extra damage you can get on that Falling Star Beast. Never use the Falling Star Beast jaw, but it may be good. Try it out. Let me know in the comments how you like it. Over here, we can see a Starlight Shard. We're going to go grab it. And then directly to the northwest from where the Starlight Shard was, we're going to come over here. There's a rock jetting out that we're going to run across and jump down. You can choose to kill these guys or not. It doesn't really matter. For being honest. You can run right by them. I just like to because they kind of get in the way when you're grabbing this item over here. They can sneak up on you. And just hit you a few times. And it's just kind of annoying. Let's go ahead and take this magic Reese off. We don't need that anymore. I just had it on for the... Falling Star Beast. And then right over here, we have a Marionette. Take him out. Him. Him. Some smoldering butterflies. And then over here on this rock, we're going to want to kill this Marionette. And we're going to stand over here and wait for that Silver Scarab the invisible one to come back around because it will circle a couple of times on this rock and it makes it easier to hit it unless you have a big aoe attack if you have a big aoe attack just use that it'll be easier than trying to swing your sword at it just waiting on it to come back it's almost here we go get the ash of war through and through now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast travel to the road of antiquity okay we're gonna come over here I off screen accidentally lit this so be sure to light that or not light that uh, Activate that summoning pool. I don't know why I like to say light that for everything. I guess it stems from Dark Souls because you're always lighting bonfires. Right here we have a worm face beast. This thing is super dangerous. Try not to be hit by it. Don't get in its attacks with the death. It will kill you very easily. So just keep that in mind. get the larval tier for killing it and then we can run down this way we don't have to hop on torrent we'll be just fine we're actually going to want to put our shield on drink a flask summon in our tier drink another flask pick up some fan daggers and then come down this way. I'm just going to buff my weapon one more time. We're going to be fighting a tree spirit. Fun times. And it still hit me, even though we killed it. Oh, man. So for killing that, we get the 
Laden hard tier, which will boost your poise when putting into a um, wondrous flask of physic. And then we get the cerulean hidden tier. This thing is super awesome. When you put that into your wondrous flask of physic, it will essentially let you use a spell an unlimited amount of times or for an unlimited amount of time for a short time because you won't use any FP. Super cool um, tier to have. If you're using any kind of spellcaster, put that on. You'll love it. Over here, we're going to grab an item. Some draw string fire grease. And then right over here, grab some golden arrows. Kill these guys. Just so they don't get in the way while we're trying to grab this item. Not a, that it's a super special item, it's just some beast blood. But you don't want to die for some beast blood. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Volcano Manor and we're going to end the video. I'll see everybody over there. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.